What's up, guys? It's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now, we are on part seven, and this is the final part in our dry suit series. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about dry suit training in itself and whether or not you should actually get trained in your dry suit and actually earn a certification from it before you go out and actually dive it. And once you are trained and got a cert certification to dive it, how often should you be diving your dry suit to stay efficient with it? So with that being said, let's jump into today's video. Now I want to first start out by saying this, I would strongly encourage you to seek out an SSI dry suit instructor in your local area and get properly trained on your dry suit before you use the suit. Even once you have that certification card, please make sure that you practice with it as much as possible in confined water. This way that you're, you're going to be very efficient and know that suit and know it in and out. And you're going to be able to don't and doff it very easily. You're going to be able to manipulate it underwater. There's several skills that you need to understand and be proficient with before you go out and dive this in an open water environment. But let's say you've got your certification now. How often should you be diving this dry suit? Well, it depends. It depends on the necessity of the suit itself. Do you need it? Do you need it for the environment that you're going to be in? Do you need it for after the dive? Maybe, maybe it's really warm in the water, but it's really cold outside. You might need that suit or those undergarments above water after the dive, so dive the dry suit. If you get an opportunity to dive it, dive it. It's just going to make you that much better with that dry suit on the more you dive it. Now, if you're diving fresh water and you, now you're going out diving salt water, you may have to change up your weight. So one of the things I personally like to do with a dry suit is every dive I make, I do a weight test. I simply swim over to wherever the dive site is. I'm going to take a normal breath. I'm going to hold it at the surface as I deflate my BCD and I should float at eye level. When I'm ready to go under, I simply exhale and my body's going to go down. This is the exact same weight test that we do with wetsuits or in any type of typical scuba gear. So you're going to do a weight test before every single dive. Now that you're underwater, there's several things that you want to remember. One, you need to maintain trim and neutral buoyancy. Trim, of course, is where we stay horizontal in the water column, and neutral buoyancy is where we're not floating, but yet we're not sinking. We're in the middle of that water column. You also want to make sure that you can manipulate the suit. You need to be able to inflate the suit and deflate the suit. Whether you're trying to eliminate squeeze, whether you're trying to descend or ascend, you need to make sure that you can manipulate that suit as well. So please guys, make sure you're getting proper training. Dive these suits as much as you possibly can. It's just gonna make you that more proficient with the suit, that more safe with the suit, that more comfortable with the suit, and that more confident with the suit as well. But guys, that's going to be it for our dry suit series. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you got any questions on dry suit diving, drop me a comment down below. I'll try to answer the question the best I can and as quickly as I can as well. I'm also going to put you a couple of links down below as well to show you what to do in an emergency if you're wearing a dry suit. I really think that you'll find that those videos are very helpful as well. There'll also be a couple of links down there for what type of fins you should be wearing with a dry suit, all the things that your dry suit instructor is going to teach you. I've got videos down below that's going to help you in the future as well, so feel free to take a look at those. Because I really hope you enjoyed the series on dry suit diving. I'm going to go ahead and sign off for today. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.